Cameron, many, many congratulations. Uh, it was back to the wall a bit at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it's tough. Like I said, I don't know how the gaffer does that and rolls every week. It's not for me. <laughs> Honestly, come off of a little slight groin issue, should be all right. But on the touchline, you can tell how much it means to everyone, the fans, the football club, to beat a side like Chester. They're a good side, doing well in the league. And it was tight at the end, but I thought we were digged in deep. We showed we were 1%, so we battled well all over the pitch and deserved the win in the end. First half, what a great first half it was, wasn't it? It's uh, their full back, but through his own goal, under pressure yeah. from you, do you an assist? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you're giving us it, I'll take it. No, honestly, Headley put a great ball in. Uh, he's got a great quality on his right foot. He's cut inside and he swung a back post, and I thought this was going to land on my head, and then next thing I know it's in the back of the net because the, the left-back's put it in. Um, great goal, and honestly, I thought everyone today was different class uh, throughout. Your goal was the second one. It's a good solo goal. You've been threatening to do that, to be fair. Yeah. You've had these runs before and you've been tackled or yeah. you've been off target. But this time it worked out perfect, didn't it? Good run into the box, took a touch and then slid it past the keeper. Yeah, thanks. Um, just try to be positive, really, every time I got on the ball and try and take your man on. Luckily, took your man on. Then the next one on, I found myself in the box and uh, just thought, across the goal, my arrow says across the goal when, you, when you're further out. So I've hit it across the goal and the keeper's not cut then to win the back of the net, which was obviously a delight to score two and, and three games as well and just hope to keep on going. Yeah. A few minutes later, Johnny the Gander scored as well, didn't he? A lovely ball through by Jared. Yeah, Jared. Honestly, um, he's not been involved as much, and you know he's got quality. Um, so he's come out a day, and I think he's run about twenty k. Um, he's the fittest lad in all by a country mile, and he's played Johnny through, who's who was on his left foot, and he's he's passed it through the keeper's legs. So it's a great goal, and I thought the first half individually, everyone was different class, and as a team collectively, because it's exactly what we try to do as a team. I know sometimes this season it's not went our way, but I thought in that first half we showed exactly what we're capable of. Second half, though, we had to hang on, didn't we? Because they scored within 10 minutes of the resumption. They scored another yeah. one on 70 minutes. And you could see, you could feel the tension increasing yeah. all around the stadium. Yeah. No, the gaffer at half-time just said, keep doing what you're doing. Um, they're going to come out full get, uh, guns blazing, which they did. Um, I thought that we did try and soak it up as best we could, but eventually they got one through. And then from there, they got the second. And towards the end, like I said, it was tough, but I thought we dig deep and uh, did well and did everyone at the club proud. And I was really happy for the for everyone, really, Gaff and everyone associated with the club because I think we deserve it. And it's a big victory and it's going to kick one. There seemed to be a bit of confusion when you were coming off because it looked as if Adriano couldn't get on the field. I don't know what happened there, man. So you look, the first goals come on, and I said, I've got a tight groin. I don't know, I don't want to risk it. With obviously games coming up on Tuesday, we play Chorley then next Saturday as well. And, and uh, so I thought I'll, I'll, I'll come off and look made the choice. So he said that I wouldn't advise you to play on. So I've come off and then I've come off the far side and then uh, Mokes, I don't know what's happened. He just hasn't come on. We've got ten men for a couple of minutes, but uh, luckily we've sailed through that. And then Mokes come on, which I thought was he was different class and it's great to see him back in playing football. And he's a top guy and uh, I wish him all the best. And he's brilliant what you did today. Yeah, the tension increased and increased and increased, didn't yeah. it? Mate? Ten minutes of added on time. It's yeah. uh, <laughs> blind. It's, not, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> it's a long time, isn't yeah. it? The referee didn't uh, tell Gaz how long we're going to play. He didn't put the board up, so no one knew how long was left. It felt like 30 minutes for us on the sideline, but obviously the lads dug deep, each, each an individual. The back two, Keir and Jake, headed everything, so just so thankful we got the win. I think it showed at the end how passionate we are for this football club and, and for the fans, and we'll work and graft every day to try and perfect what we're trying to do.